All right, Miranda, this is serious stuff. Why is President Biden, the President of the United States, refusing to acknowledge his own granddaughter? Well, I would assume, Stuart, that it's because Hunter doesn't want him to. Hunter has been trying from the very beginning to ignore this child and deny paternity. Uh, London Roberts, uh, the mother of the four-year-old Navy Joan, had to go to court and get a paternity test to prove that he was the father. In his memoir, Hunter wrote that, uh, you know, he couldn't even remember having the fling with this woman, the former stripper from Washington, D.C., um, that's not true because the laptop shows that he had an ongoing relationship with her for several months and, in fact, used to smuggle her in the back door of his office building uh, so many times that the office building managers complained because the Swedish embassy was in the same building. And uh, Hunter responded by sending them his uh, the resume, uh, London Roberts' uh, resume, and also telling them how important she was, that she was the basketball coach to not only his daughter, but Barack Obama's daughter. Barack Obama was the president at the time. So London Roberts is not nobody. She did have a relationship with him. She has had their child. He knew that she was pregnant. Um, he's now been paying child support uh, for most of her life, quite significant amount of money, and he's crying poor. Now, by going to court and asking for a reduction in this in, in, in child payments, doesn't he reveal his own finances? I mean, we're going to learn a lot about his finances with this court appearance, aren't we? Exactly. This is... Hunter Biden is going to have to open his kimono right. and show us all the financial secrets that he's been hiding. And already information is coming out, for instance, that 10% stake in the Chinese equity firm BHR. Mm -hmm. Turns out he uh, offloaded that to his sugar brother, uh, attorney Kevin Roberts, uh, Kevin Morris, who paid his IRS bill of $2.8 million. I wonder if this will become an issue in the 2024 election. Look, I, I'm not sure. I think probably the White House wants to get all the criminal investigations in Delaware out of the way for Hunter, have all his legal problems uh, tied up and uh, bedded down before the campaign starts. It's uh, a bad distraction for them. Um, this is the last thing that they want, is for the money trail that, uh, Senator, that uh, Rep Republican uh, chairman of the House... Um, Oversight Committee James Comer is already looking into. They don't want any more of Hunter's financial dirty laundry uh, aired, um, but there's nothing much they can do. The judge ordered Hunter to come to Arkansas today. OK. Uh, the Attorney General of the state of Texas, Ken Paxton, he's launched an investigation into the companies that produce COVID vaccines. Maybe he's upset uh, the CEO of Moderna, who got $400 million last year. Miranda, what's going to come out of these investigations? Look, Ken Paxton seems to think that he has a pretty good case. And remember, he's a lawyer himself, and he's had uh, several runs on the, the board already. Um, and uh, they think that they can prove that, uh, that these these big pharma companies, Moderna, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, violated Texas's Deceptive uh, Trade Practices Act. And that was with, um, you know, falsifying, potentially, allegedly, uh, their vaccine trial data, uh, misleading the public on the efficacy of the vaccines and perhaps even engaging in gain-of-function research. He's demanding documents today from them uh, and I guess uh, he will continue on down the legal track if needs be. Got it. Miranda Devine, you seem to be on top of the most important stories of the day, frequently. Miranda, you're all right, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot.